tube. We got a little battle of the brands here. Two PPVs in the house, both full patrols. First PPV is a full Federal Signal FS join package on it. The second PPV is a full wheel and core setup. Give you guys a little rundown of either. First is the FS join. It's got a PB400 push bumper, Tomar preemption down below. Micro pulses there in the grill. Dual color, red, white, blue, white. Also on the fog. Light bar is a Federal Signal Integrity. Micro pulse is dual color also on the running boards. Both vehicles are sitting in cruise flicker. Rear quarter panel, another micro pulse, the dual color red, blue. Federal signal inserts, blue, white in the reverse area. ILS stick in the back window, 2021 Tahoe specific, license plate bracket with micro pulses. The stick is red, amber, blue, amber. On the wheel and spec, you get a Weston push bumper. The two head channel, those ions in the front are trios. You get T ions on either side of the push bumper. Liberty 2 light bar up top, also in cruise flicker. Wheel and tracers down below. Those are going to be duos. They will have the white override when you open the door and also for left and right alley. In the back under the spoiler, wheel and ion outer edges, dual color. Red amber, blue amber, and these will be the Wheeland vertexes in the reverse light area. Like I said, both are sitting in cruise flicker. Now I'll show you guys position two. All right, now we're sitting in position two. Everything is synced up on either vehicle. Makes it a lot easier when you're using the same brand all the way around. If you're wondering why there's a steady burn red on the Wheeland Tahoe, that vehicle is going to Cali. And by law, they have to have steady burn red to the front. Make sure you guys the rear. bit to show you guys position three. I'll do one at a time so it's not so chaotic in here. Headlight flashers will sync up with the rest of the perimeter lighting. It's kind of got a quicker pattern and goes to more of a slower tension grabber. Right now this is in day mode. When you turn the headlights on or it's a night mode, it'll be a whole lot dimmer. Outer edges synced up nice. Those inner two modules in the light bar are amber. This is Federal Signal P3 and Drive. This one's a little more chaotic than the wheel and core spec behind it. Obviously headlight flasher. You'll have the added whites in the light bar and facing forward and on either side of the push bumper. And then when need be, you'll have your preemption button inside. Activate your preemption. Fast pattern for the inserts and the taillight flasher. Your position three for the ILS stick. Kind of get an idea of the arrow function of each. This is for the FS join. You'll have the light bar and the ILS stick synced up. This is obviously a no position. Let me show you the left position. arrow in position one. So you'll still have your license plate lighting, tail lights with the inserts and then you'll still have a red and blue module on either side of the light bar to grab some more attention. This will be your wheel and spec. Also have the red and blues on either side of the light bar. And then you'll have your outer edges going along with the Liberty 2 light bar in the rear. And again, you'll still have your vertexes in the reverse bulb and the taillight flasher.
Just so you can kind of get an idea of the differences between the alleys. Um, obviously in the rear, you'll have five light heads. And up front, you'll have the three light heads, individual light heads. The wheel and tracers put off quite a bit of light. I'll give you an idea. I can also give you an idea on the three micro pulses. Even having the three micro pulses, if you're more on a budget and you don't want to spend money on the tracers, they still do put off a lot of light, not only for the takedown and scene, but also for the left and right alley. Both vehicles will have a two-step takedown. First one will be a little less light heads, but still have white going forward, and you can be in position two or three. And then the second time you press it, two-step, you'll have full scene. It's the federal signal option. Here's your wheeling option. Both put off, crazy amount of lighting. Wheeling spec has a little less lighting facing forward. This is your wheeling spec, center console, Havis wide body. You have two mag mics, obviously your Havis dock, 12 inch pocket on the passenger side, cup holders, your black rack back behind for your rifle and shotgun. Dual color technique dome light up top. Western partition is equipped with horn ring and part kill. FS joint vehicle has a little bit different setup. Troy, low profile console, flashlight there on the driver's side. Tilted faceplate there for your federal signal. Multicolor button controller. Gamber Johnson dock. Obviously the Ace K9 recessed faceplate. You have your outlets up top, printer behind you, dual cup holders, gun rack up top, also dual color technique dome light. We have the Federal Signal vehicle. You'll have a standard size Troy box, dual handle dual color dome light up top. You also have white override to give you some rear scene in your workspace. In the Wheeland vehicle, you have your mini T-ions on either side. You have a little bit wider Troy low profile box in the back. This is the back side of the Western partition here. Dual color Technique dome light up top. The Wheeland spec vehicle is equipped with ballistic panels. See the upgraded hinges there. They're super, super heavy. I'll give you guys an idea of the different siren tones on the Wheeland and the FS join. We'll start with the Wheeland, position three, throw it in drive. Park kill, horn ring. All right, now we got your federal signal option. Position three, throw it in drive. All right, kind of gives you guys an idea of some different specs that we got here in the shop with full federal signal and full wheel and core. Let us know in the comments what you guys think or which one you would drive, or if there's something that you would change up. Thank you.